Do I regret moving to the Cleveland area after 25 years of living here? Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. Hi, this is Joy Larson with the Joy Team in the Keller Williams Greater Cleveland Market. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're talking all about my move. I moved 25 years ago from Chicago area to Cleveland because my husband's job moved us here. So do I regret moving to the Cleveland area 25 years later? Well, let's talk a little bit about the differences between the two areas. Well, first, let's talk about location. Location of the Cleveland area is close to the east side of the United States, the eastern United States, Chicago, Really, it's just Chicago around there, and then it's the Plains states. Pretty much country all around that area. So location-wise, I am not sure which one is better. Stay tuned on which I decided which is better. Cost of living, Chicago versus Cleveland. Well, I have to say Cleveland wins every time there because the cost of living in Chicago you pretty much need to have two incomes to be able to survive there. Or at least all my friends, they had to go back to work to be able to maintain their living, or they just have to live on a lot less. Whichever you prefer, I do have to say, Cleveland wins on the cost of living scale. All right, let's talk about weather next. Weather in Chicago and weather in Cleveland. Well, I know a lot of people say that Chicago is a very, very windy city, right? Well, did you know that the Windy City is based on the politicians who were very long-winded and that gave the title of Windy City of Chicago? So really, Chicago weather compared to Cleveland weather, they both are the Midwest, they both are near the lake and they're both cold, but Chicago has sunshine and it's bright and sunny all the time where we had sun glare delays there. Cleveland, I lose my sunglasses. Uh, I've lost them for months at a time and I had no idea where they were at because I didn't need it. There's no sun because we are very dreary here many of the times. So I do have to say Chicago gets the win on that one. All right, let's talk about traffic. Chicago versus Cleveland. Well, this is almost a no-brainer. Cleveland traffic is nothing. It is easy. There, you don't get stuck like Chicago. Chicago, we would have sun glare delays where we'd have to slow down and there'd be a lot of traffic because of the sunshine heading into downtown because everyone's going toward the sun during the morning rush hour. Also, I would be stuck, I'll never forget, Jeff's family, when we were getting married, they were stuck for two to three hours going downtown, trying to get through to get to where we lived, which was in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. So I have to say Cleveland traffic, you win this hands down. So let's talk about Lake Erie compared to Lake Michigan. So Chicago has Lake Michigan and Cleveland has Lake Erie, both of them have boating access and all of that. But I do have to say, Lake Erie, you do win this one because it's warmer. So it is shallower. It's one of the shallowest lakes. So you can be able to be in the water more than in Lake Michigan. Plus, I do have to say Lake Erie has easy access compared to Lake Michigan. When we were boating in Lake Michigan, it would be very difficult to get downtown with a boat. And in Lake Erie, you can go and you might get delayed a little bit to get in the water with your boat, but normally you can get in there pretty quickly so they both have lakes you both can go boating and skiing and fishing and all of that but Cleveland you take this one all right let's talk about the sports teams Ooh, this could be a tough one Chicago versus Cleveland so Chicago has the Bulls I do have to say I always have been a Bulls fan but yet I have become a Cavs fan now let's talk about the Guardians I was ready to say the Indians versus the Cubs well I have to say my dad 
He is a tried and true, or was a tried and true Cubs fan, but yet when they were playing the Indians or the Guardians, let me say that I had both hats going back and forth between the two. And then we have the Browns and the Bears. Well, I do have to say they both have had their share of troubles. So I have to say between the Chicago fans and the Cleveland fans, I think those are about equal in my opinion. All right, let's talk about the downtown vibe. Chicago versus Cleveland. I have to say for this one, Chicago gets the vibe. It is so fun to go downtown, to go to Navy Pier, to go to Wrigleyville. There is just so much to do in the city of Chicago, but it is huge. So traffic can be bad there, but there's just so many places you can do and explore. Now, I do have to say Cleveland, you come in a very close second because you have Playhouse Square, you have all of these different museums, you have the lake right there, you have the downtown though, after a certain time period in the evening, there's not many people walking around. In Chicago, there's a lot of people walking around throughout the day and the evening too. And the shopping in Chicago is a little bit better downtown than it is Cleveland. So I have to say the downtown feel, Chicago wins that hands down. The last thing we're gonna talk about is culture. The culture in Chicago, the culture in Cleveland. Oh, this is a tough one because in Cleveland, we have Playhouse Square. We have all of the different museums. We have the Cleveland Orchestra. So there is a lot there. Chicago, you have the, the Symphony Orchestra. You have all the museums. Both of those are equal, in my opinion. There's both so much to do. So you may be saying to yourself, Joy, 25 years later, do you really regret moving to the Cleveland area? Do you wish you could move back to Chicago? Well, I have to say, I do not regret moving to Cleveland. I actually call it a mini Chicago, so I still get my Chicago feel. I just call it mini. My mini Chicago is here in Cleveland, and I love it here, and I hope you do too. Text me and my team if you need some help with moving or you're thinking of selling your house, buying, or maybe you're not sure if you wanna move here. We're here to help. Make sure to comment below on what are the reasons why you love Cleveland. I would love to hear your comments. We value those and make sure to check out my other videos as well. Thanks for joining us.